today we're going to be working on a 63 Impala. The topic is bump steer. This applies to the years 1958 through 64. This is what the stock steering system has for bump steer without doing anything at all to the 63. So what we're going to do is show you, we're going to check this, we're going to do our four inches, two inches up, two inches down, and remember to watch the bottom screen here, which is your toe, steering wheel's locked, nothing's going to move, and all we're going to see is what kind of steering geometry we have here. So let's go ahead and go up one inch. Okay, so we've got 530 seconds on one side, 730 seconds on the other, and we're going to tow out, which means the tires are pointing outward from center line of the vehicle. Okay, so let's go up another inch. And now we have a total of 2130 seconds going to tow out. So as you can see, it's constantly going to tow it as the vehicle goes up. So now we're going to go down to our stock ride height and then bring it down two inches. Yeah, keep coming down. Okay, we're, we're, going, we're going past ride height now. So where are you at there? Okay, so now we're at one inch down. Okay, and you can see this toe is still changing. And let's continue on down for the other inch. Okay, so we're going to toe in when the tire goes up into the fender, so that's bump, and we're going to toe out when the tire comes out of the fender. Okay, so as you can see here that uh, when you add all this up here over the four inches of travel, we actually have an inch and a sixteenth of total toe change. Uh, over the four inches. Well, what this equates to when you're driving the vehicle is when, when the car's going over bumps and oscillating, the toe is changing on you, which, which even though you're holding the steering wheel perfectly straight, the tires are turning, which is making the car unstable. And especially in a turn, as you go into the turn, as the car rolls, the toe is changing. So where you're pointing the vehicle or where you think you're pointing the vehicle is really not where you're going based off the toe changing on you and that there's nothing you're gonna do about it because it's all in the geometry. It's not something you're doing. So when you go over bumps, you know, and you're in your vehicle and you feel an instability or you go over a rise in the road where the car gets light and the car just kind of veers one side or another, you know, that's basically what toe change is doing or what bump steer is, okay? So this is an issue that is in a lot of vehicles and especially the older vehicles, okay? so. Uh, what we're going to do here is, is in this video we showed, we sh we're showing you what the stock is. We're going to show you on the second video what we found out with an aftermarket kit that's out there that is trying to improve the brakes, the steering system, but unfortunately it doesn't solve our bump steer problem. In fact, it kind of makes it a little worse. And then we're going to show you what we had to do to get everything working properly and make a correct bump steer situation so we have a car that's drivable to today's standards.